Good evening, everyone. Good night, teacher. Hey, good, good evening. evening. How are you, everyone? Welcome, welcome, Luis Alberto, Nidia Yamilex, Eva Alicia, Iris Hi. Milena. Hi, good evening. Welcome, Christian Menjiver. How do you feel today, guys? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Karen Guadalupe, welcome. How is everybody? Sarina, welcome. We have Iris Milena. Welcome, welcome everyone. All right, ready to continue? Always right, <laughs> prepared. <laughs> Remember yesterday, we worked with some of the locations, different places, and also we were talking about that you can buy different things on a specific places. And also about some compound nouns. And we mentioned different places too, right? Now, as we were talking about places, we can also continue with directions or addresses. So let's check the objective. It says that by the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's go ahead then here. It says here locations. And then we have some of the examples, like to give the areas. In number one, we have across the street. Number two, we have down the street, around the corner, on the left, that will be this part, on the left, on the right. Number six, next to the bank. Number seven, between the bookstore and the bank. So we locate this one. The small house, right? That is between the bookstore and the bank. These are only some examples, right? But we have others too. Let's check the video. This video is about prepositions of place. And the one includes a conversation. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park.
it's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so we saw about it that it was about prepositions. Different prepositions here that are, for example, on. On, we know that means sobre, right? We have on, on the corner of. What is on the corner of? In the skin of it. Very good. Across from? Cruzando. Al cruzar. Al cruzar, uh -huh. that's good. Next to? Siguiente. Uh -huh. O junto a, a, junto uh -huh. a, a la par, contiguo a, correct? Between? Entre. 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 Very good. Okay, we are going to read this one. It says, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. So we have? all of these locations, right? So if we have that the department store is on Main Street, we look for the Main Street is over here, right? And we have the department store. It's on the corner of Main and First. So it's on the corner, right? That's another possibility. So there is not one unique form to give a direction, but it can be another one. It's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. It's across from the park, yes, because here we have the park. If you go to the other side, you are in the department store. It's next to the bank. Yes, here we have the bank and the department store. The other one is the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. And yes, it's here. Here we have the bank, department store, and then we have the restaurants. Now, let's check here. Let's do an exercise. That's according to this location. 
In the example we have, number one, the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. So we have the Second Avenue is this one. And we have the coffee shop. So what's the coffee shop? It's here, right? Let's check here number two. What about number two? Nidia, what do you think is number two? The movie tour is. Uh huh. Ay, no yes. lo veo en la imagen. No lo veo en la imagen. Don't imagine. Oh. Okay. Park in May. The movie theater is this one. The one that it says Regency. Movie theater. Do you see it? With the black, uh, with the red dot. This one that I'm pointing. It's between and no just that you need to put like a en frente del en frente del parque next to but is saying parking main uh -huh. parking main en so it can del, be en frente del parque oh. but it says parking main. a la par de but it doesn't have next to here you can put mm. like on next to uh -huh. It can be on, on parking main because park is the street. Mm -hmm. So that is the name on the street. You can use on sobre qué calle está. So it's park street. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And also main, main street. So it's on these two streets. Está sobre estas dos calles. So you can write on. On parking main, and the other reference is it's next to. Is it next to the park? Between. Mm, no. Look at the park. What is the position that has the park? The park is here, but you need to cross. You need to go to the other one, the other part. You can put across from. Across from. Aha, uh -huh, that's correct. Porque tiene que cruzarse la calle. Aha, uh -huh, mm -hmm. that's correct. That's good. Okay, so you can include here across from. Across from the park. All right. So in this one, we didn't finish because it says number one, the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. What is the other reference? On Second Avenue. The reference according to the shoe store, and the shoe store is here. It's also across from, right? Because here is the movie theater, and in the other part is the shoe store. So it's also across from. It's across from. The store on uh -huh. the store across from is this one. The store is here. The shoe store is this one. Ah, uh -huh. y el café. And the coffee shop is this one. Uh -huh. So they are next to. They are next to. Just that the reference here is the coffee shop, right? The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's across from the shoe store. That's the coffee shop. What about number three? What do you think? The gas station. Is in front of parking lot. Uh -huh, the gas station is, here we have it, in front of, that will be one. What will be another possibility? It has different, right? Of. On the corner of. It can be, yes. In front of the parking lot. So what's the other reference? First and center. 
It's on, right? It's on. Porque está sobre esas calles. So it's on here. What about for? The post office is. And let's check here. The post office. Where is that we can find it? Is this one. The post office is. On center and second. On center streets. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, center and second. That's right. So that is on. On. Okay. Center and second. It's. What's the other reference? Next, next to. Is it next to the hospital? Exactly. We have it here. Yes. Next to the hospital. Right. Next to. Next to the hospital. What about five? The bank is. Let's check here. The bank is in this area. The restaurant and the department store. It's between. 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 Perfect. That's right. Between. Between the restaurant and the department store. What is the second reference? It's on Main Street. It's on Main Street. That's right. So there we have it. Another reference here in number one, the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. We know that we have it here, right? On Second Avenue, across from the shoe store, but also there is another possibility. What will be another possibility here if we write it? The coffee shop. We're locating it here, right? Coffee shop in reference to the shoe store. Next to. Next to. Aha, that's another possibility. So we can include next to. Okay. Now let's read them to practice it. Let's read number one. Jose David. Yes. Yes. Can you please read number one? The coffee the shop. Office, uh, the, the coffee, coffee shop. The coffee shop is um second. Ave no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh -huh. Avenue. 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 It's next to the shoe store. Very good. Thank you, Christian. Number three. Uh, number two. The movie theater is on Park and Main is across from the park. Really good. Thank you, Wendy Lisette. Number three. The gas station is in front of the parking lot. It's on the it's on first and center. Really good, thank you. Rosa Irma, number four. The post office is on center and second. It's next to the hospital. Excellent, thank you, that's all right. Luis Alberto. Let's see number five. The bank, Luis Alberto, the microphone, please. Yes. The bank uh -huh. is? The bank is between, between? Between the restaurant and the department. And the department? The store, and the department store. 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 Good. It's? It's on? My spring. Main Street. My spring. That's right. Good one. Thanks. Okay. Any question about this? No questions? This is on the introduction. We're going to see more examples. Actually, we have here a conversation that we are going to practice. Let's go ahead on it. The one that you watch on the video. And it's called, it's across from the park. We have here a conversation between a man and a woman. And it starts like this. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where's on Main Street? 
It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. New vocabulary? Restroom, please. Re restroom is like, a, what is a, a bathroom? Remember what's a bathroom? Baño. Aha. Uh -huh. Just a baño público. Exactly. The ah. bathroom is complete, like in the ones we have in our house. That is the bathroom because you can take a shower or you can take a bath. But the restroom, there is no shower. No shower, only the toilet. That is the difference. Any other question? No? All right, let's go ahead and practice it then. Wilbur, you're the man. Star, please. Excuse me. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? Thank you. Continue, Mercedes, please. Woman. Okay. A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't see anything so. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you. Continue then. Um, let me see. Francisco, continue. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Thanks. Let's continue. Alma Patricia. Well, well, well there, there's a rest a restroom a restroom in the department 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 store on main street on oh, main street main, main street. street very good thank you luis alberto luis antonio sorry <laughs> <laughs> Where on Main Street. That's right. Thank you. Camila. It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. Avenue. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see with Carlos. Carlos Mario. On the corner of Main and First. And First. Right. Like a question. Thank you. Let's continue. Jennifer, Jennifer Elizabeth. Yes. Uh, okay, good. Yes, it's across from the park. You can you miss can't. You, you can't. can't you can't miss it. Miss it. That's miss right. It. Very good. Thanks. Brenda, Brenda Esmeralda. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. We can continue practicing. Doris, Emilia. Sí. You begin here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Thank you. That's good. Eva, Alicia. A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Think so. I don't think so. Think so. That's right. Thank you. It is. It is Milena. Oh no, my song needs a restaurant. A restroom. Rest restroom. That's right. Thank you. Let's continue. Jose David. Well, there's restroom in the apartment. It's around my street. Main streets. Great. Main street. Very good. Thank you. William Vladimir. Where <laughs> on Main Street? It's the next one. The next one. Uh -huh. Where, Where on Main Street? On Main Street? A question, right? On Main Street? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this a question, right? Where <clears throat> on Main Street? Good. Thank you. Sarina? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. That's right. Thank you. Chrysia. On the corner of Main and First. Thank you. Right. Bryant. 
Bryant Alexander? Yes, it's across from the park. You can meet it. You can't miss it. Miss it. That's right. You can miss it. Nice one. Great one. Thank you. Let's see. Mauricio, please. Mauricio Enrique. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead then with another exercise here. It continues being about directions. It says, state turns making statements about the places. The bank is across the street. Or you can also say across from the street. Now, let's see here. We have the locations of a bank. Then we have a bookstore. We have the school, the restaurant, the pharmacy. We have here the reference also, the school, the newsstand, the bank. And let's make reference here about the verb be, questions with where, subject pronoun, it. Why it? Because we're referring to an address, right? A direction. It says, ask questions with where for location. For example, where's the restaurant? Use it to replace the names of places. It's down the street. It is equals the restaurant. Just that we can make a contraction, right? Contraction between it and the verb to be. So here we will have where is is complete, but in a contraction you can use where's. It is. It's. We have here then pronunciation, falling intonation for questions with where. Let's read and listen. Now let's see here in the arrow, you start like, where is that? You increase your tone of voice in the WH. Where is that? Where's the bank? Where's the school? Where's the newsstand? Right? So there is a change in the intonation of your voice. So let's verify here. Read the sentences. Write questions and answers. Answer with it. You have an example here. We're going to read it. Let's see, Tatiana. Tatiana, can you read the example, please? Number one. The pharmacy is across the street. Uh -huh, that's good. A, where's? where's? Where's the pharmacy? Excellent. That's the question. Answer. It's, it's across the street. Very good job. Thank you. Okay, this is an example. Now, we'll continue with the other form. In number two, it says, Billy's restaurant is around the corner. So we're talking about a restaurant here. How can you formulate the question, Pamela? Pamela, are you there? <coughs> Sarina? Where's the restaurant? Where's the restaurant? Aha, that's right. We can use it with a contraction. So with where, right? To investigate about the location. Where's the restaurant? All right. What will be an answer? It is Milena. It is. William Vladimir? Mm. What could be the answer here? Where's the restaurant? You have the answer here, right? This is the answer. It's uh, uh -huh. next to the school. Okay, yes, next to the school. If you use this reference, that's okay. Yeah, that's right. Just that here in number two is giving you like the answer. You're just going to put another manner. <laughs> Billy's restaurant is around the corner. Where's the restaurant? You just modify and say, it's around the corner. Around the corner. Thank you. What about number three? Estela, Estela Marisol. Estela, 
Doris? Doris Emilia? Where is the new stand? Ah, uh -huh, okay. Where is the new stand? That will be our question. The new stand. So that will be our question. Now, what will be the answer? Eva? Eva Alicia? Hello. Hello. How will be the answer here? You have the answer here in number three. You have it. The new stand is on the left. Where is the new stand? Yes. This one is the answer. The new stand. The new stand. Uh -huh. Just a substitute. Instead of saying the new stand, you can use it. It's. Uh -huh, correct. It's. It's on, on the left. On the left. That's all right. Good on one. So it's just like another form, right? It's like to eliminate the repetition. Instead of saying, where is the new stand? The new stand is, okay, eliminate repetition and you can substitute using it. It's. Exactly. That's good. It's on the left. Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue. Chrissy, please. In number four, you have the answer. It says the bookstore is next to the school. How do you formulate where's the question? Where's the bookstore? Excellent. Where's the bookstore? Thank you. Let's see about the answer. Luis Antonio, Thank what you. will be the answer? Substitute, right? Substitute the bookstore. Mm -hmm. It's next to the school. It's next to the school. That's all right. To the school. And that's great. We have our questions and answers. So you can make also contractions, right? It's not necessary to say like, where is the pharmacy? It is across the street. Or the pharmacy is across the street. You can make contractions here. And also substitute. We know that here you are talking about the pharmacy. And pharmacy is something, it's a place. So you can substitute with the subject it. Do you have questions about this? No, coach. No questions? Okay. Let's go ahead and then we are going to read it. In number one, Camila, can you read the question, please? The pharmacy. The pharmacy is across the street. Uh -huh. A. Uh, where's? Where's the pharmacy? Thank you. It's. Uh -huh. Continue, continue. It's, it's across. It's across the street. The street. Thank you. Luis Antonio, read number two, please. Billy's. Billy's restaurant is around the corner. Where's the restaurant? It's around the corner. Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue. Wilber Enrique, number three. The newsstand is on the left. Where's the newsstand? Where's, uh, where's the news room? Uh, it's on the left. On the left. Thank you. Francisco, number four. The bookstore is next to the school. Where's the bookstore? It's next to the school. Very good job. Nice one. Thanks. Let's move then to the next part. We have this other one to make reference. What places do we have here? Let's check. Karen Guadalupe, what places can you observe? A, a park, a school, uh -huh, pharmacy, okay. a mm -hmm. restaurant, a restaurant, a bank, a bank, yes. a bank? And, and a bookstore. You have a bookstore and a newsstand, right? Here is oh, very, no. very small. I can't yeah. see it. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to see it. That's a newsstand, like the smallest one that you have. Thanks. Okay, so we can practice also here talking about locations. And we have a, a small conversation here. It says, excuse me, where's the bank? 
The bank is around the corner. So that's the bank, right? That we have it here. So let's suppose that you are here. So it can be like, these are the two guys around the corner, right? So you are here. You can enter here in this part. That's why it's around the corner. Then it says, thanks, you're welcome. Now we can continue here and fill in. Excuse me, where's the bookstore? How can you give me reference of bookstore? If you are here, right? We have in this location, this part. These are the two persons. Guadalupe, can you give us a direction about this? Excuse me, where is the bookstore? Karen Guadalupe or Mercedes? Yes, it's true. I didn't say Karen Guadalupe. <laughs> okay. And Sería, excuse me, where is the bookstore? Mm -hmm. The bookstore? Okay. It's, I don't know. Um, you can give any reference. Um, sería, la escuela diría yo, pero. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, it can be next to, right? Sería, it, what do you say? How do you say? A la par? Next to. Next to in the school. It's next to the school. The school. Uh -huh, that's right. So where is the bookstore? It's. It's next to the school. The, the school. school. Uh -huh, that's all right. Good one. Okay. So that is one reference that you have. What will be another reference? Thank you, Karen. Very good. Mercedes, what could be a direction that you could, you okay. could use? Uh, for bookstore. Uh -huh. For bookstore? Okay. The bookstore is um, it's in front of the park. Okay. In or front of the park. It's um opposite corner of bank that can... Mm -hmm. The opposite corner of the bank, yes. Mm -hmm. Or across from? Uh, or across from the street. Uh -huh. <laughs> I suppose okay. that is the main street. Yes, uh -huh. so it's across from the street, across from the park also. It can be, right? Mm -hmm. Across yes. from the park, correct, that's good. Across from the restaurant also, because you can go across and you are in a restaurant, right? So there are different directions that you can also give. Now, let's go ahead here and we're going to remember, you're going to guess what is the place. Tell me, what is the place on this picture? Is it a restaurant, a pharmacy, a newsstand? What is the place? A pharmacy. A it's pharmacy. a pharmacy. Very good job. What about the second picture? Carlos Mario. What is the second picture? What is the place? Hello? A bookstore. A bookstore? Are you sure? Uh, they are like uh, uh, newspapers, like magazines. No sé. Which one? News stand. It's a news stand. That, that's correct uh, because they have the newspaper, they have magazines. All right. That's good. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. Wilbur, Enrique, what is the third picture? What's the place? Um, the place is Okay. <laughs> Let's make it bigger. Now it's bigger. What do you observe? What can you see? 
No? Bookstore but sería bookstore. It's a bookstore, right? Correct. Uh -huh, because there uh -huh. are books. Uh -huh. No, 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 they are bien. It's a bookstore. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's see. Francisco, what is this picture? What's the place? A restaurant. It's a restaurant. Very good. Nice. Jennifer, Elizabeth. What's the place? It's a bank, coach. Okay. Yes. Possibly yes. it's a bank. Well, it doesn't have the name, right? But normally a bank is full of people. <laughs> Right, very good. The school? It can be a school also. That's another possibility. University. It's school, it's a university, right? Probably it mall. is. Probably it's a mall, correct. Okay, what about the next picture? It's a station buses. Is that? A station uh, bus. Ah, a bus station, probably. They are asking for a ticket. Bus station. Bus station. Uh -huh. It can be a bus station. Okay. What else? Any other bank. possibility? Bank. Probably it's a bank, right? Yes, you can see the receptionist and the people are waiting in line. Okay. That's nice. Good. Now, let's go ahead on the next part. Remember that you're going to have this one, right? That's according to what you can see. We have the next objective, but first we are going to pass the list. So let me know that you are present, guys, please. Let's start with Adriana. Adriana Gabriela? Adriana Gabriela? Alma Patricia? Present. Thank you, Alma. Present. Anna, thank you. Ana Lisette. <coughs> Ana Lisette. Brenda Esmeralda. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Bryant Alexander. Bryant Present. Alexander. Thank you, Bryant. Camila Lisette. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Mario. Present, teacher. Thank you, Doris Emilia. Present. Thank you, Doris. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel. Estela Marisol. Present. Thank you, Estela. Eva Alicia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Eva. Francisco Manuel. Samuel. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Francisco Samuel. Thank you, Francisco. Present. Thank you. Iris Milena. Present. Thank you, Iris. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present, coach. Thank you so much. Jose David. Present. Thank you. Karen Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Crisia Dorila. Present, teacher. Thank you, Crisia. Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto. Present, teacher. Present, Thank teacher. You. Thank you, Luis Alberto. Luis Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Mauricio Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Mercedes Elizabeth. Mercedes Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Thank you, Mercedes. Nidia Yamilex. Present teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Rosa Irma. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Sarina Susana. Present teacher. Thank you, Sarina. Tatiana Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Lisette. Present. Thank you. Wilber Enrique. Present. Thank you, Wilber. William Vladimir. Present. Thank you so much, William. Yesenia Maribel, sorry. Yesenia Maribel. Yesenia Maribel. Yesenia Pamela. Present. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's continue then with our session. Okay, so let's continue with our next point. 
Let me point it out. This one. Okay. And our objective is by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. First, we need to see some important points, how to give directions. When you investigate how to get to a place, it can be in different manners. For example, how do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do I get? That means, como llego, right? How do I get to? And then you include the place. One form it will be walk up, caminar hacia arriba, right? Or go up, ir hacia arriba. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left. What is turn left? Turn left. Girar a la izquierda. Excellent. Girar a la izquierda. Very nice. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. What is right? Now it's the country to the left. Derecha. A la derecha. That's great. Another type of question could be like this. How can I get to Bryan Park? Walk down. Caminar hacia abajo, right? Walk down. Or go down. Ir hacia abajo. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. That will be the contrary there. Then on the right. We have a video about this. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be 
how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library? Or how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right, so there we have the map and how to give different directions. Here we have different references for questions, like what we mentioned, right? Like, how do I get to, and you mentioned here, to the hospital, to the library, to Bryant Park, to New York Public Library, or how can I get to, and mention the area. For the answer, you have walk up, Caminar hacia arriba, right? All depends on the area where we are in that moment. Go up, that's another case. Go down, go down. Turn left on, on Fifth Avenue. Also, it can be on Madison Avenue. Turn right on, different position, right? Turn right on Park Avenue, on Lexington Avenue. On the right, on the left. So let's check here. It says, imagine you are a tourist at Grand Central Terminal. As for directions, follow the arrows. And we have here. So what is the Grand Central Terminal? It's here, right? So imagine that we are here and we want to investigate. An example would be, excuse me, how do we get to the Empire State Building? My Empire State Building is here. How do I get to here? What would be one possibility? Luis Antonio, what do you think? You are here in the Grand Central Terminal. It will be like a walk up or walk down. Walk down. Go down, right? Because you reduced the quantity of the street there. Okay. Go down on? On 40 uh -huh. street. On 42nd street? Uh -huh. Okay. Turn? What Turn. direction will you use? Left. Uh -huh. Turn left? On 5th Avenue. Turn left, okay. This avenue, right? Mm -hmm. And this avenue. So you are here. Then you are on the, the spine, right? Then turn right. Turn right. Turn mm -hmm. right. And you are there. That's correct. Good one. What about if I want to find or I want to get to, we are in Grand Central Terminal. Thank you, Luis. Very good. Wendy, are you there, Wendy? Yes. Yes. Okay. We are on Grand Central Terminal. 
and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. What direction would you give? Wendy? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, walk up. Right here. Okay, walk up. Go up to 50th Street. No. On oh, 5th Street? On oh, 50th Street? Okay. So you need to go here. Okay. Walk uh, up on 42nd Street, uh, right? 46. Because you go up here. Then turn, turn left or turn right? Turn right to 5th Avenue. Excellent. Very good. Turn right to 5th Avenue. And then? Turn left or turn right? Turn right, okay. Turn right, correct. And you are in St. Patrick's Cathedral. That is all right. Good one. Okay. Now let's continue with Nidia. We are on Grand Central Terminal. Excuse me, how do I get to New York Public Library? New York Public Library. Go up. Mm, go up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go up. Or the four second street. On forty second street. What else? Uh. Turn left or on right? The, on the left. Uh-huh, okay. It's on the left. Or turn left. That's another possibility. You turn left and you will see New York Public Library. That's yes. great. So we have another case, right? Thank you. That's good. Let's see Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. We are on Grand Central Terminal. Excuse me, how do I get to Rockefeller Center? Sorry, coach. Uh, yes, on the right. Where Where do you walk? You walk up or you walk uh, down? Well, need... well, down. Walk down. Uh, I think walk up here, right? Es que casi no veo, coach. Okay, let me see. We can make it bigger. Uh, Let's make it bigger. Yes. Thirty. Sería thirty two stretch. On thirty three, thirty two streets. Yes. We are here uh -huh. on Grand Central Terminal. Imagine that you are here, but you want to get to Rockefeller Center. Um. This is the point. Uh -huh. So you need to walk up, right? Because you need to advance. Well down. Sorry walk up. to stretch. Walk up. Uh, walk, walk, uh -huh. walk up. 32 and stretch. On 42nd Street. Uh-huh. 42nd stretch. Uh-huh, good. Turn, turn left or turn right? Say, uh, turn right. Turn right, excellent. The right to six six avenue six avenue uh -huh. Rockefeller Center uh -huh. Rockefeller Center is on is on, on the left or on the right on the right on the right yes that is correct so we have different positions here right that's good okay now let's go ahead with Mercedes. Mercedes, we are always here, right? On um, Grand Central Terminal. Okay. Excuse me, how do I get to Bryant Park? Bryant Park. Um, you need to go. You need uh, to go? go. No, walk, walk up for two, for three blocks. Mm -hmm. Yes, because one, on, two, three. Okay. On. 
on uh, Second Street or no, 42? Forty, oh, 42nd? Or 42nd Street and the Bryan Park is next uh -huh. to the New York Public Library. Public Library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a right, good one. That's a good direction. Nice. Thanks. Okay, let's continue then. Let's go ahead with Eva. Eva, Alicia, are you there? Eva? Iris? Not here. Jose David? Yes, teacher. Hi, Jose. Okay. Excuse me, how do I get to New York Public Library? We are in Grand Central Terminal. Mm, no sé si es correcto, pero sería walk and walk. 42, uh -huh, 42 okay. Street. Walk on 42nd Street. And the corner is the New York Public Library. Uh -huh. On the corner is New York Public Library. Yeah, that's correct. It's on the corner of 42nd Street. That's all right. Good one. As you notice here, there is not like a one specific right form to give a direction. But we can have different manners. All it depends on the form that you have to locate the different areas. But tomorrow we'll continue giving more directions, all right? So we'll see you tomorrow, guys. We'll practice tomorrow more. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, See you tomorrow. Guys. Thank see you, you tomorrow. so much. Bye. See you Have tomorrow. sweet dreams. Take Bye. care. Bye. I'll good see night. you tomorrow. Have a good see night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Take care. Sweet dreams.